ultrasonic flow transmitter. Uh, so this we have a few part components to this. Uh, for ultrasonic flow measurement, this is the transmitter. Uh, it is able to support two channels. For us, ultrasonic flow measurement is very important to make sure the thickness of the pipe is correct. So that is why for us we have this uh, thickness sensor. Okay. So later on as we uh, go through the experiments, you will be able to know how do we do the measurement of the thickness. Because over here, you will not know how thick is the pipe. And normally pipes are like this, you cannot see through. Even if you can see through, you still do not know how thick it is. Flow measurement, you will be using a pair of transducer. Uh, these are the transducer, it will transmit and receive. Okay. So if you were to look at it, of course it shouldn't be in this way. Uh. You see the arrow, uh, it should be in this way. And the distance, the mating distance will be based on what this transmitter is going to tell you. Uh, so as we go through the experiment, you will know. Uh, it will be mounted on this, uh, specially designed uh, ruler. So the next thing for us to do, we need to measure what is the circumference of the pipe. Okay, so that we know what is the diameter. Uh, with the circumference, you will be able to calculate the diameter, right? Uh, what's the formula? Uh, I hope you still remember your mathematics. Uh. Uh, so over here, what we can do, we can actually go by starting from 10 cm as your zero. Yeah, so in this case, this will be about... For the uh, mounting of this, we try not to mount on top. Because what is the medium inside? It is water, and water, what is going to happen if it is not fully filled? The top would have air bubbles. Okay, so if there's air bubbles, then this transducer is not going to be able to sense the air bubbles. Because what we are going to do is to sense what is the flow rate of the water. Angle should be at 45 degree, or the best is at 90 degree. Uh, so let's do the mounting here. Uh, so for the chain, you just uh, go through the pipe. Okay. Go through the pipe. Uh, so over here, this is uh, with spring. Uh, uh, so you will be able to pull. Uh, let's just uh, pull it down. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm pulling with some tension. Uh, uh, secure one side. And on the other side as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so then you would see, it actually it's quite tight already. Uh, so you just need to have some tension. If it is not tight enough, you can still pull a, a little bit, bit more. Uh, the rest of it, you just leave it one side. Uh, quite easy, right? Uh, so you can try. Uh, so after the sensor measurement, so you open the flap here. Uh, if you see the uh, sensor, uh, there is a protrusion here. There is a groove here. Uh, so you will make it in and there is a red dot and this red dot. Uh, uh, so this will tell you this is the correct way to put it in. Uh, slot in ready, just turn on the transmitter. So it says, what thickness sensor detected on channel B? Okay, so let's uh, go in. So we go to the parameter, I go back again. Uh. So if you see this arrow here, these two arrow and par. So this is talking about the parameter, going to the parameter. So now we go and look at the parameter for channel B. This material is PVC. Okay? If your pipe is something else, you have you will be able to change. Let's look at it again. Huh? Uh, so you will be able to change to any other kind of materials that we have in the list here. Okay? All the common materials. So what is this? PVC and they, inside there they have already entered in what is the characteristics of a PVC for you. Uh, so you will just follow it. Uh, then you will be able to next go to the measurement. Okay. Now it is waiting. So what you need to do. Okay. So over here for ultrasonic to work, you need to have this coupling paste. Uh, the ultrasonic coupling paste. Uh, so you are going to just use it like a toothpaste like that. Huh? Just a small little amount there. Okay. And so in this, what you will do, 
Similarly, we try not to measure at the top. Uh, do you remember the reason why we don't measure at the top? Uh, so as not to be measuring the air bubbles. Uh. Uh, so you press securely, then you can actually see the measurement there. Uh, 